Dylan Mulvaney. Don't know about Dylan Mulvaney. I just see him everywhere. Whoa. Her, he, uh, I'm confused at this point. Blair White, a conservative transgender woman. That's also confusing, but that's also something new. I did a live investigating Blair White, and I'm gonna be honest, I loved everything I saw, man. This my, like I said, I, I didn't know what to expect from someone that is trans and conservative. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But this video right here is the truth about Dylan Mulvaney. Who the f is Dylan Mulvaney, man? Let's get to it. Just picked up some tampons. If you're afraid to use the water. Wait, 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 wait. My guy, my guy. <laughs> you still sound like. First of all, <clears throat> let's be honest here. Blair White looks more like a woman than my guy right here. Like. So once again, uh, Blair White. It's a handsome. <laughs> you got to chill. Shout out to Blair White. All jokes. Here we go. With a hey, also, tampons, really? Bro, we... Tampons? What? Person, this is what you're afraid of. Normalize the bulge. We are normalizing the bulge. We have been our bulges. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, everyone and their mother or their birthing person, depending on how annoying you are, has insisted that I make a video on Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan is a <laughs> trans TikToker. Dylan Mulvaney. Oh, man. Million followers. Mad followers, though. Mad subscribers and followers, really? This is what, the, this is what people like. People like this stuff. Followers. Do y'all do like this stuff? And who recently have found themselves the topic of a lot of controversial conversations, a lot of backlash, and who actually ended up interviewing the president. Don't what? Don't know what to say about that. Please believe. No, <laughs> Yo, no, no, no. Biden be falling for every agenda in the world, bro. Yo, Biden did an interview with somebody that just... I bet. Rose to social media fame through their Days of Girlhood videos in which Dylan is chronicling transitions. Hey, yo! Up until day now, which is like 200 and something, and I believe that's like, what, six or seven months? I'm just being honest, the first time I saw one of these videos, which was a few months ago before any of the controversy and before things really got big, uh, I thought it was a parody. Heels? They're my hiking heels. I love them. Okay, come on. Ah, ah, ah. New York girls don't wear bras. If you run into me on the street, say hi, I'll have a tampon for ya. Love ya! I genuinely thought it was a transphobic person making fun of trans people. I had no... Not even a hint that this was a real thing until I saw interviews with Dylan and I was like, oh. It's real. And there's a reason why I'm never the first one to do videos about these things, for which I guess I could have months ago when I found this person, but I was really hoping it would just go away. I was really hoping it would just stop. And it didn't. So these days of girlhood videos has sparked a ton of backlash because honestly, the things that Dylan purports to be experiencing in these videos, the things that Dylan is acting out in these videos are almost always exclusively derived from the most offensive, stupidest, silliest, most ridiculous stereotypes about women that- So we have an actual trans, right? Explaining and putting into perspective what we are watching with Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney is the, the topic of news, like, literally everywhere. Like, I can't, like, I've seen so many YouTubers talk about Dylan Mulvaney. I didn't personally want to talk about it, so I really didn't want to do research. But ever since we're diving into Blair White, Blair White exposing Dylan Mulvaney is a good thing for me to see because it gives me more understanding of what trans, ah, here we go. You can find, like, it almost seems like Dylan Googled offensive stereotypes about women and just did a video for each of them like that's genuinely what it feels like it's like oh i'm a girl so i'm crying all the time day one of being a girl and i've already <laughs> cried three times oh i'm a girl so i'm a bimbo day three of being a girl and i've already become a bimbo <laughs> yo what so scared of bugs love you And I'm saying though, like people don't like people in the LGBTQ. Y'all don't get upset over this. Like somebody just comes out of nowhere. Right. Dylan also has a pretty strange fascination with tampons. 
And just a reminder that people of all genders use tampons, not just women. Would you want any tampons? I'm just giving them out. Oh, cool. Awesome. Anybody need a tampon? I mean, have you ever seen anyone gaze this lovingly at anything, like, ever? I sure as have never looked at a man like that. Like, I think Jesus Christ himself would have to come down and personally greet me for me to ever look like that. Also, where are you putting that, Dylan? Yeah, what? You, what? Don't tell me. There but the controversy go. really fired up when beauty brand Ulta dropped a podcast featuring Dylan and another Hold on, fan. who? My... <laughs> nah, full beard? Bro went to a barbershop. A Dominican barbershop for sure. Person, I don't know who that is. Now I know I can find love. I know I can still be a performer. I know that I can have a family. David Lopez. And he has my last name. Oh, hell nah. Hold on. David Lopez. Oh, hell. I can find love. I know I can oh, still be man. a performer. I know that I can have a family. I want to be a mom one day. And I absolutely can. And that's why the narrative still has a long way to go because no, you when can't. I was grieving Boy Dylan, I didn't know those things were even accessible to me. The podcast set the internet on fire, sparking the hashtag Boycott Ulta because women were saying that it felt like it was two males mansplaining what it means to be a girl and that Dylan couldn't have possibly ever experienced girlhood, which is objectively true. I mean, even if you're going to go along with the ideological position that trans women are women, that has all to do with being a girl, which is exclusively a child's experience. And the infantilization of being a woman is also really gross. Hey! Hey! You wanna come kayaking? Oh, I'm more of a city girl. Yeah, I get that. Do you have any pets? Yeah, actually, I have a dog. Oh, I have a cat. Oh, I wish we could find some common interest. Well, what are your pronouns? I'm she, they. She, I'm they? She, too. You know what? I could use some nature time. Let's do it. Woohoo! I forgot that my crotch doesn't look like other women's crotches sometimes because mine doesn't look like a little Barbie pocket. I mean, it's one thing. It's like when you're with your friends and you're like, oh, girls night out. It's another to be like, I'm experiencing girlhood. That's a different thing. And, and you're literally not, Dylan. I mean, like, you're just not. We talked about the Ulta and Dylan thing on Tim Cast, so I'll put a clip here so I don't have to rehash it. Yo, and I heard, yo, listen, shout out, shout out to Blair White, like, I heard that she, she was on this podcast uh, with Joe Rogan, I also saw her with Alex Jones, so people fuck with her, like, people actually show her love, that's love, Terps. I mean, yeah, yeah. Are boycotting Ulta Beauty. How? Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Talk. First of all, the idea that it's TERFs who are upset over the Ulta video seems pretty ridiculous. I mean, I get called a turf despite the fact that I'm trans and not a feminist, which it's trans exclusionary radical feminist. How am I both of those things? <laughs> uh, it doesn't make any sense. This is why I say I feel like this is a troll. Women don't do that. This is not girlhood. There is there is nothing about wearing high heels while hiking. Women go hiking all the time. They have boots. You go to the you go to the REI and they have a women's section for athletic boots. What about being a girl means you wear high heels in the wilderness? Well, this is a sexist's idea of what right. women do, right? So it's that, that's the thing about wokeness is it always comes full circle. It's like we're going to erase stereotypes and people are more than the sum of their stereotypes. And now it's back at the point where it's like, actually, we are all just stereotypes. <laughs> but th like th this... I understand why people think this individual is making a mockery or trolling yeah. them. Like, I that's not a real thing. I mean, bro, this has to be... Like, this is not... Like, what else could this be? Like, like how, how do y'all... Like, where's Bill Burr when we need him? Like, we live... With, like, women are letting this happen. Like, what's up with y'all? Like, step it up. You letting this happen. You hear me? I'm talking to you. I'm not. You know, I don't think Dylan's, like, trying to offend people. I think Dylan is just such a narcissist that it's just, like... You know, this person went viral on TikTok. They have this huge following. I think it's just 
this is Dylan being a narcissist, not caring what how it looks, right? So it's the over top, over the top, like caricaturized, like oh, a bug and falling and, and acting stupid, right? It's like the stupid woman stereotype. So. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you've got biological males talking about girlhood, and when a woman speaks up, the woman is the problem. Well, this is the problem with the trans movement in general, and why, like, I learned very early on, even despite being trans, that I did want to be part of it. You know, it's like it's not just about you for these people; it's about everyone else as well. So it's not just enough for Dylan to be like, this is me. It's like Dylan saying... So I see Blair White is not really... She's not really a part of any of the agendas that are being pushed. So she's a based trans woman. Cool. I'm cool with that. I ain't tripping about that, man. This is me, and it doesn't matter how far I take it, everyone just has to be cool with it. You know, like, there used to be this goal within the trans community of, like, an integration to society, and it's the exact opposite now. Now it's this adversarial relationship, and it's a movement that poses a threat to women and children now, which I don't think any movement that even is perceived that way yeah. can survive. <laughs> Established titles is a fun and not, like, and work with, even on a few minutes, it can just, if you use blip or spunk face which honestly it's kind of hard to see their point when dylan's entire shtick is offensive stereotypes about women i mean it's not as if dylan is just existing i don't think trans women are in woman face by simply existing but when you construct a character based on i'm afraid of bugs and i cry a lot and i fall all the time that's that's woman based sorry I, that i believe that is i've already become a bimbo <laughs> it'd be the same thing as like spray painting your skin dark and i don't know doing and acting out offensive stereotypes about black people i mean you look at blackface which is constructing a character for entertainment that is based on harmful stereotypes about black people this is literally the same thing like you're literally calling yourself a bimbo which is a slur created by men that was literally meant to hold women back and refer to women as stupid and the performance aspect is important, right? Because I actually have watched almost all of these Days of Girlhood videos. Yes, pray for me. Yes, I'm traumatized. But you know, I didn't want to make this video without watching as many as I could. And I watched most of them and there were basically none that seemed real, vulnerable, authentic. They were all performative. They were all a character. And the women's locker room smells so much better than the men's. Wait, 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 wait. He was let in the women's locker room? Because he's like... Woman. Identifies as a woman. I, and if you're afraid to use the locker room with a trans person, this is what you're afraid of. I mean, there's a reason why I thought it was a parody at first. I, I genuinely would have never in a million years thought it was a real person. But since then, you guys, the situation has escalated because cringe is one thing, right? Embarrassing content is one thing, right? I've done some embarrassing content. I've done some stuff that I'm like, ew, looking back. But when the president of the United States yeah, like, invites you to the White House to what? speak on behalf of a community of people, that's another thing. And you know, I'm gonna have a problem with that. No, I'm not kidding. A whopping six months into transition, Dylan Mulvaney was chosen out of every single other person in the trans community to speak to Joe Biden, president of the United States. Uh, Mr. President, this that's is wild. my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God, yeah. I love it. Yes, Dylan has girl <laughs> Yo, Joe Biden. Oh my God, bro. I ain't gonna say nothing too crazy because I already got a strike on my channel, but Joe Biden is something else, bro. Into the White House. And Dylan is arguably one of the most powerful trans people on the planet now. I mean, if you are invited to the White House as a representative and a spokesperson of an entire community of people, that is a pretty big deal. And that's why I'm also not accepting any Blair White's bullying a trans person narratives because if a representative at the White House, a spokesperson for people like me, for an entire community of people, is beyond reproach, who can you criticize? I mean, you must have a really warped sense of like power dynamics to think that me, a YouTuber, should be unable to criticize someone who is in the f White House speaking on my behalf. I mean, sorry, you asked for it. And I'm sorry, but I don't want a tampon loving, girlhood obsessed, Barbie pocket having weirdo six months into transition representing me to the president of the country I live in. I mean, granted, we all know the kind of president we have at this point. There's no way Joe Biden even at this point remembers who that person is or what conversation they had, right? And honestly, watching the video was kind of like watching a clown a and a corpse converse. God, and I love it. <gasps> so cringe. I mean, honestly, the only thing that could have made this better is if Dylan sang their hit song to Joe. No! Wait, 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 normalize the bulge as in what, like, uh, uh because Jeez. he's saying women can have both, oh, like, Penises. oh, man. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I'm putting this video out. Cheers, and that's okay. We're not gonna stare at their crotches while they're wearing their little shopping shorts at the mall. Now, what did Dylan do upon having the amazing opportunity of having the ear of the President of the United States? Advocated for children transitioning, advocated for puberty blockers. This is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God, and, I love it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I am extremely privileged to live in a state that allows me access to the resources I need, and that decision is just between me and my doctors. As an adult? Sure. But still within reason, right? Doctors are not allowed to do whatever they want with a patient. Patients are not allowed to demand whatever they want from a doctor. And certainly not within limitations and standards of practice set in place via law. And certainly not when it comes to children, when it comes to seeking plastic surgery or drugs that destroy their fertility for life. But many states have lawmakers that feel like... See, look, that's why... Yo, all right. Shout out to Blair White because she's actually explaining... And not just going out there and just going out on a limb. She's actually explaining what the vibes is when it comes to transitioning or doctors or, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to taking the, these meds. She's actually giving you the information of why this could be a bad thing or, or, or a good thing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's actually explaining it as someone that is going through that experience. Not like, my guy, Dylan Mulvaney. Involve themselves in this very personal process. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender-affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that. As a moral question, and as a legal question. I just think it's that's wrong. The, that's the, I think that's my problem with the left, too. Like, the liberals, right, when you look at the history of liberalism, you're looking at the history of how people want law over God, right? The way we as a society has, have lived, right, throughout everything I've been learning, we have, we have lived through God. Now, as a society, we have taken God out of everything. You understand what I'm saying? So, of course, these things are coming into fruition, right? That's why our kids are now in danger. That's why so many things are happening. Nobody's here transphobic and that like that. You do what you want as an adult. Cool. But all these laws and different things that are happening to our kids, I think that's where the real problems lie. Here we go. And there's the divide that no one in this country is willing to compromise on, and rightfully so, right? Dylan Mulvaney and Joe Biden think it's absolutely wrong and absolutely immoral to stop children from seeking out permanent plastic surgery, drugs that destroy their fertility, and becoming lifelong medical patients before they can even grab a driver's license. And normal people think that that's fucked. Fun fact, by the way, Dillon State, California, my home state, actually bans minors from using tanning beds because of the permanent and long-lasting implications for health. Yes, California thinks that minors are not intellectually mature enough to use a tanning bed, but absolutely intellectually mature enough to remove See what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Shout out people. to her. Shout out. It's actually just like... I'm going to call her a she. So a lot of y'all be minors, tripping. You know? Shout out to Blair White. You know, I think I was saying before we started that my son, my deceased son, used to be the Attorney General of the State of Delaware. He passed the most, the broadest piece of legislation he, as Attorney General, can, uh, was able to convince the legislature and the governor to sign. What? You know, if I look at this interview as, like, performance art, high art, I actually see the value in it. Because few things actually represent the decline of America like this video. I mean, you have a functionally brain-dead president who has no idea why he's in the room, an expert who is an expert at nothing, who also probably has no idea why they're in the room, and everyone just smiles, nods, and follows their lead. Can we talk about Dylan's obsession with girlhood now? Because I think it's time to unpack that. Dylan's whole shtick is claiming to be a girl, not a woman. And, you know, I mean, as I've always said, it is to be a trans woman, which is a very specific thing. But womanhood itself, never going to experience it. Also never hey. experience girlhood because I transitioned as an adult. It's, it's like, I grew up a boy. This is my story. You can't just rewrite your story. Yo, that's gangster. That's gangster, Blair. Oh, yo, that's a gangster, yo. I, we, need, we need more trans like you. I don't be honest, man. We need more trans women like you. You can't start as a child at 25 years old, which Dylan is. I think Dylan's 25. And I mean, Dylan, even if you follow the trans women are women mantra and truly believe that, that still wouldn't make you a girl. To where you need to be referring to genitals as Barbie pockets. 
acting like a toddler, pretending as if you're going through puberty and need to use tampons. And again, I like how the side that always screams about misinformation is just smiling and nodding while Dylan is spreading the lie that trans women use tampons, right? And I mean, that's a lie that's just permitted so commonly that I actually do see people on social media asking if trans women use tampons and genuinely want to know. I have had people ask me if I use tampons. Maybe I've never touched a tampon. I have, why would I ever? Like, shout out to menstruation, but that's not a struggle I would choose to have. I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out. Like, fuck weird. It's weird. It's just weird. And then you have them normalizing the bulge thing. Bro, what? That must sound her wee wee pad out. So I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna pretend like I have some deep, insightful commentary for this, other than like, just tuck your dick, like, just do it. Let's not hang out with our dicks out, like that's not, okay, this I do have some commentary. There is something to be said about a social contract, right? If you wanna be a trans woman and you wanna transition, I know a lot of people are triggered by the concept of self-responsibility, but there is some responsibility on you to make that transition and that integration to society somewhat. So by the way, for those, like, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with, uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm not for, uh, or I don't agree with the lifestyle, I'm gonna be honest. I do feel like God made you a way, you should love yourself that way, but, I also don't disrespect people who want to make the decision to do exactly what they want to do in this life. It's a free country. Once again, my whole thing is like just the fact that Dylan Mulvaney is disrespecting women and womenhood, actual women, and also just like kids, you know what I'm saying? The kids, like I feel like the kids is involved, now I feel like I gotta get involved. You understand what I'm saying? I know a lot of us probably feel that way. Smooth, no right? disrespect to blame. includes if you're gonna be dressing like a girl, taking hormones to appear as a girl, having surgeries to like, you don't rock out with your cow. I don't care. No one wants to see it, and it's weird that you want people to see it because clearly you want people to see it. You don't have to wear clothes that highlight that part of your body. I mean, there are times if I don't feel like just, I'm just gonna be very real here. There are days where I don't want to talk. It's painful. It's not you know the most comfortable thing to have going on. However. You can wear clothes where you don't have to talk. There are outfits and silhouettes you can choose to wear even if you do not talk, that is not visible. And yeah, you can do whatever you want, this is America, but also like, don't expect people to not be grossed out by the fact that you're walking into Macy's with your hanging out. I mean, going around enforcing female pronouns with people and perfect strangers while having it hanging out is- Ah, Charlie Horse. Behavior. This is literally <laughs> out saying, call me she. That is you, Dylan. Messing it up for all the trains. Women out there, if you're offended that Dylan is acting out these offensive stereotypes having to do with y'all, rest and assured transsexuals are just as annoyed and pissed off. It's gross. But again, cringy, embarrassing behavior is one thing. I would have never made a video just about that. But when you're at the White House talking about children and their need to transition and their need to undergo these surgeries that we know are harmful. We're not them, messing with that. Anyone who goes to the White House talking about kids need to transition, you're going to get a Blair White video made about you. Period. Also, there's an issue arising of people saying that Dylan is an actor. And this is all just a troll. People have looked into Dylan's past and found that Dylan has actually had some small acting roles. Dylan is basically a failed actor. I mean, never popped off from the small roles that they got and has appeared on The Price is Right, The Ellen DeGeneres Show. And what? when you look at things like that, when you get on The Price is Right, when you get on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and you're there to dance but not as a star, right? These are the gigs that people in LA who are very money hungry, very fame hungry, go for. This is like the first step on the ladder to becoming famous. And having lived in LA and been around the industry and known all types of people that are doing these things, people who end up on The Price is Right and people who end up dancing on The Ellen Show are the kind of people that are sitting on their computers 24 seven applying to literally everything, fishing for literally anything, any role, any gig. And it's no shade to you, like more power to you if that's your thing. However, I'm just saying that is the hallmark of someone who is fame hungry and just wants to break into the industry any way they that's can. That's But never popped off until now. <laughs> identifying as girl had to be a whole woman Day to pop one up. Of being a girl and I have already cried three times I would receive an email that I did not send I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford and then uh, when someone asked me how I was I said I'm fine when I wasn't fine so. how did I do, do you go through that I do you said what wait what I'm not even listening to this. 
<laughs> she checked out a long time ago, guys. So it's kind of like a chicken or the egg thing. It's like, did Dylan secretly feel trans all the time, that going on these TV shows as a boy, or did nothing pop off from those shows? So it was. Yo, just imagine, just imagine like this, like you were trans, right? Well, <laughs> a lot of y'all definitely not trying to imagine that, but. Like, it's crazy, right? Like, people that have been fighting for these rights, right, that don't want anything to do with kids, that actually the good part, like, kind of like Blair White, based trans. Bro, y'all got Dylan Mulvaney. Like, that's who represented y'all in the White House. That's kind of crazy, man. I would have been tight, man. I would have been mad about Time that. Time for plan B. You know, like, there's no way to really know that. There's no way to really get into Dylan's head. However, nothing did bring Dylan fame until identifying as trans and then it was like a skyrocket and there's something to be said about that there's something to be said about the climate that we live in that you can be talentless because Dylan isn't funny like I'm not trying to be mean this is literally like saying like a meal prepared by a chef if it's bad if it's just bad right it doesn't mean the chef's a bad person it's just like the meal gave the chef gave me a meal it's cold take it back Dylan's not funny Dylan's not a great actor you can see through it but what Dylan is great at is getting attention on the backs of women and trans people. And just some inside baseball or whatever, I do know several people that do know Dylan, have been around Dylan, and Dylan, in my opinion, does truly identify as trans only in the sense of like, it's not as if when the cameras aren't there, Dylan's like, I'm a dude. Like, that's not what's happening apparently. From what I've heard, Dylan is trans. I've also heard Dylan's kind of an I've heard Dylan's the kind of person that is letting this all kind of get to their head and like if you don't kind of bow down and show like complete adoration for Dylan, it's kind of like a snooty like, ugh, what are you doing type of thing. That's all speculation, right? Like I've heard that from someone I consider to be highly credible who is much more famous than Dylan in the trans community. That's an anecdote, you can take it or leave it. There's no reason for you to take that, just saying though. So I think it's a gray area. I think that Dylan might actually be trans, Dylan might actually be on estrogen or whatever have you, but that also Dylan is doing some really cringe, embarrassing, and offensive sh to both women and trans people and doesn't really care because it's getting them fame. Which is one thing on its own, right? Because I see that all the time. But not everyone's going to the White House to speak for all of us. And this person does not speak for me. This person does not speak for any transsexuals I know. And so I think it's ultimately just a shame that we live in a society where it feels like people are rewarded for like all the wrong things and all the wrong behavior. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well as my pop. Hey man, look. Let me know your thoughts on uh, Blair White and Dylan Mulvaney. I do feel like Blair White broke this video down uh, very extremely well. And what better person to hear it from than an actual trans who is a conservative? You know, who... <laughs> like I said, man, I'm not judging Blair, but sometimes I do wonder how that, po how that is possible. But it is. And rather have a conservative trans than a trans that's just out here pushing kids to do very bad and evil things. So... Once again, round of applause for her, for real, cause, and I know a lot of you guys in the comments are gonna be tight that I call her she, man, but out of respect for Blair, whatever, you know, for the sake of the video, whatever, like it's love, it's respect. I don't, I'm not here to disrespect her at all. She's a trans woman, she knows she's not a real woman, blah, 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 blah. She got, she got the meat. I got the meat, we all got the meat. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching, man. Dylan Mulvaney must be stopped ASAP, bruh. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. My name is Lou Valentino.